Parking here at CES can be a real pain in the rear, especially if you're talking about a big SUV like this. Wouldn't it be awful nice if you could just get out of your car and hit a button on your smartphone and walk away and let the thing park itself? That's exactly what BMW is showing off here just outside of the South Hall at the 2024 CES. But interestingly, this isn't actually based on a lot of smarts based in the car. It's based on the wireless technology and software in the car that lets someone remotely drive it. That's what we're going to go check out. All right, so we've gotten out of our car. Now, at this point, I would just walk away and go do my shopping or go to the movies or whatever, and I would transfer control of my vehicle over to a remote assistant who'd be sitting on a station like this. Now, this is actually a very high-end sim racing wheel they've got set up here in a, a Fanatic Club Sport set of pe pedals. But the most important thing is I've got this widescreen view of all the cameras from around the car, plus some touchscreens left and right. They give me full control over all the features of the car. So if I want to now take control, all I need to do is hit the brake pedal and hit the start takeover button. And at this point, I can now drive the car remotely. Now again, this could be someone anywhere in the United States basically. So if I were going shopping, I would just take out my app, hit a button on the phone, hand control over to them, and then I would walk away. And then this person sitting remotely at a call center somewhere would then drive my car around, find a good parking spot and park it for me. And then when I come out of my movie or whatever, all I need to do is hit the button on my phone again and that person will again take control of the vehicle just like this. So the control on this is actually really interesting. It's not really like I was actually in the car because the controls are actually very different than what you'd get in the car. I right now have my foot flat to the floor. And this is a BMW iX, which is a very quick SUV, but it's now going about two miles an hour, even though my foot is flat to the floor because it's using its sensors to detect all the cones around me. It knows that it's close to obstacles, so it's gonna go very, very slowly. But they did tell me the top speed of the system, even in an open parking lot, would only be about five miles an hour. So that should get rid of any worries about safety. It's also gonna automatically stop if it comes up to a cone or an obstacle or a small child or anything like that. And if I wanna stop the vehicle, I don't even have to touch the brake. I just need to lift off the, the accelerator and it stops immediately. And when it comes to parking, you know, parallel parking at the best of times can be a little complicated. Doing it over a remote mobile data connection like this will be even more complicated. But that's actually made pretty easy by the fact that the car has automated parking systems already built into it. So all I really need to do is come very slowly up to an open parking space here and the car will automatically tell me that it's detected parking spot on the left touchscreen here. So I just need to go slowly by the parking spot, come to a stop, and then I tap a few buttons over here, basically to say that I want it to go into parking, tell it that I want to back into the parking spot, and then I just take my hands off the wheel and it parks itself. Now it's not quite as cool as what Pierce Brosnan was doing in the back of his car, and I think it was GoldenEye there, but the real concept is basically the same, remote piloting of a car, and you can really think about this in a lot of different applications. Sure, the best thing would be you going to a parking garage or maybe a busy city street and letting someone else find a parking spot for you, but you can imagine a company like a rental car company that needs to move a lot of cars quickly. Instead of having a bunch of people getting in and out of those cars, they could have a center of people that can remotely connect those cars from all over the world. Driving it's easy, having access to all the cameras within the car makes it easy and having software within the car that parks itself again just makes it all that much more easily but the more interesting thing really for me is that it's based on hardware that's already in these cars which means this could really be a software update added to even cars that are on the road today bmw is not making any promises on that front or any discussions about how much this thing might cost presumably it'd be some kind of an add-on valet service to your car but honestly this might be one that i would think about paying for all right, that's it from BMW's Valley Parking demo here at CES 24. Let us know in comments, how much would you pay for a service like this to save you time and a lot of headaches in parking your car? Let us know in comments and check out Engadget.com for all the CES 2024 news.